Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 16th going to the 22nd of October. So let's dive in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. For the week ahead, please spare it for Leo. I'm going to pull the cards out first, but what a beautiful card to come through for you guys. Golden, just like you guys. We have victory. Let's pull the rest of the cards first before we talk about it for Leo. I literally was thinking of the number five and mentioning it and then change came up. So that's just confirmation. Number fives are about necessary changes. Okay, it's me. So definitely a lot going on. We also have a 10 here with two and an eight. So new beginnings, change, all a theme for you guys. Let's see. Past energy, Leo, present. I'm not taking that. It was upside down, so... Take the one that I took out. Blockages. Okay, near future. Ooh. Okay, lastly, advice and opportunity this week. Yeah, okay, well, that's great. Let's talk about it and clarify as we go through. So your overall theme for the week is victory. So this will be a very successful week for you. It does feel like you're putting an end to some kind of chapter, whether it's hardship, a mindset, mentality, whatever it be. Uh, you are gaining victory over something that has been a bit challenging for you. Um, so or whatever you've been working on here. So that looks very good. You're going to be glowing at this time. This looks good. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like maybe you've been paying a lot more attention to your health. And this might be a reason why you're glowing as well. Let's talk about it. I also see a switch up in your energy around this time. It feels like not maybe not within this week, but like in general, because your past energy is the emperor. So maybe being more in your masculine this is about discipline, hard work. This is about hardships. This is kind of just like a pushing force, pushing through the challenges and conquering. You know, that's the that's the vibes I'm picking up on here. But in your near future, you have the Empress. So it does feel like you're switching up a little bit. You will be in the hard work that you're, you've been doing with this new disciplined mind, well, with this past disciplined mindset that you have been clearly doing recently. Um, moving forward, you'll be in a place of like abundance and relaxation and, and caring and I don't know, um, nurturing and power. All right, which is which is very good. In your current energy, though, like, let, let's talk about the Emperor first <laughs> before I choke here. All right, the Emperor, please. In the past position, some of you could have definitely, like, detached from, like, a father figure or somebody who, you know, uh, deals with, like, control issues. This may have been someone that you were in love with or have a lot of love for because this came up in this energy as well. A lot of you may have had to pull away from people that you did love though, like regardless of who it was here. Um, again, it does, that emperor has that red cloak and you're walking away from someone who has that too. So again, some of you may have had like a falling out with somebody who kind of maybe was being a little bit I want to say selfish it feels selfish i don't know if that's the reality of it but that's what it feels like it feels like maybe someone was thinking about themselves or their image their reputation as the emperor would it feels like you had to take control of a situation and maybe cut some people out here who maybe wasn't reciprocating the energy and the love that you give. This was an act of self-love, by the way. This was bringing a new beginning when it comes down to love, with this disconnect with somebody, choosing not to go down a specific path. Maybe it was for the wrong reasons, you didn't like somebody's intentions, whatever it be here. With the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So a lot of you had to call in your own personal power here in the past 
to be more disciplined. You know, you have a big heart and I believe that you're going to be stepping back into that here, Leo, which is great for you. It feels like in the past you did have to have this sort of, not persona, saying persona, but it's more, maybe it is, but like a, you had to have an energy that was more disciplined on guard, that was a lot more... like a lot more like strong-headed Leo please in the past energy we have the um page of cups here with the seven of wands this kind of feels like maybe somebody's like emotions were not were kind of being pushed back is what it feels like Maybe this, if this is in a familial situation, I didn't, I never know if I'm saying that word, word right or if that is even the right context for it. But like in a family situation, this could be the case as well where um, maybe this is to do with your like childhood here, Leo. Some of you, like maybe there was, you know, someone was not accepting an apology don't know whose side that's on or maybe this person like apologized a lot since then and maybe you've been defending yourself here because there is some disappointment with this queen of swords again that's that hard-headed i think you put someone in their place is what it feels like and it does feel like they have regrets they are disappointed with this but they're coming to you disappointed like can you fix this no i don't i think you have a boundary with somebody who may have like maybe trying to get you to fix something by playing the kind of not um what i'm seeing here is that you had to place a boundary with somebody who I, I, maybe it's emotional manipulation it feels like you're trying to kind of like control your emotions in this specific dynamic because it plays on it because this this five of cups here is like coming to you like look at what happened and it's like well fix it pick it up do something about it like I, I feel like you're in this queen of swords energy you're not taking this anymore maybe you were you know rubbing their back here let me help you let me help you pick it up and this person kept doing that like kept coming to you for it now you became like responsible for this person's emotions so you cared about this person i have to say even when you had to disconnect from them. I don't know what it is now, <laughs> but this past energy, it just feels like it's like you had to set a very strong boundary with somebody, uh, even though it would cause kind of like a backlash or an argument. So maybe this is not completely out your life now. Some of you, it may definitely be, but it, it feels like you're no longer like taking on that role that somebody tried to put you in or that you unconsciously went into. Like it feels like that's where the change is coming from. That's interesting. I feel like you guys are telling uh, or have told people lately about their mindset. Like it's your mindset that's the reason why things are not working out for you. Like have you thought about being positive? Like have you of course positive positivity doesn't fix your problems. Not at all. But sometimes a lot of our problems are made to be, you know, they say like turning more like telling turning wait, what is it? <laughs> Making a a mountain out of a molehill. That's the vibes I'm picking up. And that feels like somebody around you has been doing that. And it's like, just stop doing that. Look at what you've got and do something with it. Don't focus about what's already gone. Like, focus on what you still have. That's your only chance, you know, to move forward and away from that. But someone's stuck in a bit of a loop. And I, I think that they come to you to fix it and then keep coming back in the same place. And you're not doing that anymore. Like you're not fixing someone. You're placing very strong boundaries with somebody. All right. Temperance. And that's the balance. All right. Patience. I feel like this situation will actually, you know, unfold in a way. Some of you, this may end up being an actual ending eventually. Because if someone's just not aligned to that boundary, might keep overstepping it, then you might have to disconnect from somebody. Uh, but it feels like maybe somebody um, might just decide to distance themselves from you because you've changed, Leo. Like, that's what they're going to say. But uh, you've just placed a boundary. That's just all it is. Like, don't let people make you feel guilty for us. 
you know, detaching from that kind of very negative energy. In your current energy, you have the Page of Swords. Someone could definitely be keeping an eye on you or is very curious about your energy at the moment. Page of Swords, you might be on like a deep search for more. You guys could be studying uh, things that you enjoy, that things that pique your interest, things that you want to dive into deeper. Current energy, please, for Leo. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Some of you could definitely be getting good results if you are studying. This is about reaching a, a milestone. It's 11-11. It's a wish fulfillment. It's kind of like a goal that you guys are going to be achieving at this time. This could be pertaining to you and someone else because uh, there are two people here and it could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But for a lot of you, you could be reaching a goal when it comes down to your finances or your career life. This looks very, very good. It looks like there is something worth celebrating here in your present moment. Um, so definitely go for it let's see what else this page of swords is about that temperance wanted to come out yeah someone is still thinking about you and that's where that vibes are coming from here four of cups not at the moment they've not changed Sorry, they've not changed. Four of Cups. They've still got those three cups here. They've picked them up, but they're still not doing anything about it here. There's a sense of rejection with that. Someone feels rejected. Temperance is about balancing, though, and it feels like you guys are coming back into balance in your life, which I feel like is very good. Have patience with it. You know, take time out where necessary, Leo. Make sure that you're doing that, but it feels like things are, are looking good for you. Now, a blockage for you currently is your, the Two of Cups. So again, it is to do with connections and soulmates, whether it's because you kind of feel like you don't have many of those around you. Maybe you feel like your love life is a bit blocked here. Um, let's clarify the Two of Cups in a blockage position, please. Five of Pentacles. Maybe this is a relationship that you decided to kind of like detach from a little bit. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So this is about waiting and manifesting for things to change. And the Five of Pentacles is, again, feeling left out in a cold. Maybe in your commitment and your love life here, maybe that is still something that you feel is, you know, kind of a blockage in your life. Five of Pentacles is about people who, again, like are in need or in need of help, but they're refusing to go where they can get it can sometimes be a victim mindset but three of wands moving forward like it does feel like you're manifesting something in when it comes down to love like a change let's just get one more for the three of cups sorry three of wands page of wands and a strength card and you have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck like could be a pisces because the hanged man is underneath that leo energy page of wands um this feels like there will be a message for some of you some of you you could be reconciling with someone i will say that maybe you needed some time apart at the moment, I would say that they still have not completely changed um, from whatever. And again, I will always say never go back to abusive, toxic situations or relationships. Just don't do it. That's not what I'm advising anybody. So if that's your case, then just ignore what I'm saying about reconciliation because I personally just don't. I feel like people can change, but not when it's extreme situations. In this situation, for whatever reason... What I am picking up on is that there is a message with the Page of Wands and a strength card of maybe somebody, you know, what you're waiting for is for somebody to maybe change, to message you, to turn around and say, look, I'm in a King of Cups energy now. I have love to give. I'm mature or whatever. I feel like my, my camera is glitching a bit. But anyway. All right, in the near future, you have the Empress, which is about attracting and not chasing. Let's clarify that, please, for Leo. Empress energy. So, mm, yeah, so... In the near future, you have judgment, eight of cups, and a knight of swords. It does feel like ultimately you are going to like forgive, let go of a situation with that judgment card. It is a releasing of judgment, release of uh, things that are holding you back, holding you down to move into a new chapter. 
Eight of Cups is walking away from things that don't serve you in order to find what does. And the Knight of Swords is an incoming message when you do that. Being in an Empress position, it does feel like you are kind of releasing. Like that's what the energy is about. You're no longer forcing things, pushing things, or taking action and pursuing things. It does feel like you're going to be a lot more like gentle on yourself, a lot more graceful, a lot more nurturing to the things around you, and definitely sitting in a place of abundance. And in doing that, it does feel like there's a message coming in, like out of desperation, most likely, out of fear, out of worry, that somebody feels like they are losing you. Ten of Wands. You are letting go of something that's quite difficult, actually. Nine of Cups just flipped in reverse like that. Like, I feel like this is not even what you want either, to be honest with you. But like, it's because of the situation that you just, you'll be stepping into your power and that's just what it represents. You know your worth. And that's just what it is. You're not giving people the benefit of the doubt who just can't do anything with it. That's just it. Knight of Swords, let's see what that message is about. King of Pentacles. Both of those do speak about like, yeah, it's like a conversation is coming in here. I think you'll be listening to this, but I don't think you're going to do anything about it. King of Wands and King of Pentacles. I don't know if this feels like false promises of what this person will be like, whether it's stable, ambitious, like doing more, being more, I don't know. Maybe you'll have options. Maybe it's about, yeah, it's again, like feeling, someone feels like just give them time, but I think that you're... I think you'll be okay, but I'm not waiting. Like, I'm not waiting. I'm not being around. Like, that's just what it feels like. So, okay. And that, that, yeah, that just wanted to come back out again. By the way, your key word here is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And I think that's why you're moving. All right. And what you can't see coming here, you are going to have a lot more mastery over your emotions with the King of Cups. Of course, this can also mean that somebody has feelings here and that's what's coming through. Well, you have a cup. Some of you are going to end up in a relationship really quickly, actually. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a couple. It's a match. What you don't see coming is maybe through some sort of adventure through some sort of travel maybe that you guys are going to kind of come across um for some of you it could be a couple who are significant to you or for others of you it is like a, your own relationship okay the nine of swords worries fears doubts uh king of pentacles and the fall some of you might still be worried about this past person but it does feel like a lot of you are going to take a leap of faith. Some of you are really going to take a leap of faith. And there might be a collaboration in terms of career, by the way. Uh, you are just going to go for it despite any fears and worries that you have. And I think it's going to be very rewarding for you. And that's why the victory card is there. In terms of your love and relationships, we do have the six of cups and the three of cups. This could be children for some of you. All right, could have... Some of you could have a lot of children or could like want a lot of children. I'm seeing five. Like, that is a lot. <laughs> um, what this feels like is that there is going to be like a, a childhood friend coming back into your life. I feel like you're going to be really lovely in your own energy. Nine of Pentacles is usually someone who loves their own energy, is building on themselves and is gracefully just enjoying life like slowly and steadily. So about being stable, financially free. You have like some close intimate relationships with childhood friends or family members coming up here as well. And that feels like there's some celebration around that here. You also have the Magician, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. So when it comes down to your relationships, it does feel like you're able to manifest. But of course, with the Eight of Swords, we have to kind of get unstuck first. Um, because the Page of Pentacles, there are offers and opportunities and friendships and relationships that are definitely possible around you. This is like 
self-imprisonment here and this is reality it's all this golden energy that you guys have in the sun so a lot of golden energy is surrounding you especially your relationships with people here it's just to come out of your head a little bit maybe go out with some friends is very important or make some <laughs> because i feel like this is going to really kind of boost your mood and your your emotions is what's important here your advice is the five of one stay out of drama stay out of conflict here leo that's super important don't go around arguing with fools but as they say eight of cups is coming through here again like just walk away from things that aren't serving the five of wands re represents kind of like a never-ending cycle these people will fight forever and no one's listening this is never-ending because no one's actually listening no one's paying attention to what the other person wants or needs they're just fighting you know um so you guys are walking away from that kind of conflict and competitive energy it just does not serve you and you know that like you're rec you're recognizing your worth so you're moving towards much more uh, better and like i'm hearing harmonious communities ones who celebrate with each other ones who share their abundance with one another you know like a close circle it's like a quality not quantity of friendships it's what feels like it's coming through and your opportunity this week is the lovers so some of you could be in love some of you could have the opportunity to uh, get to know somebody the lovers is also about your choices so your opportunity is in the choices that you make this week okay it's in the changes that you make queen of wands uh, coming through with two of wands and a page of wands so whilst you're thinking about the future here guys you are going to have a message here all right, get planning, get prepping in terms of your career and a passion here. It feels like you're going to get some really good news to expand. All right, which looks great. Let's get you some of these. I'm sorry about the glitching, guys, by the way. It's a bit annoying for me as well. You guys have Peacock. This says beware of great pride. We have news is on the way. Table, hard work ahead. You have eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. You have a secret admirer, absolutely. And you do have, in the end, unsuccessful plans, which that feels like it's to do with that past person. All right. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I hope this reading helped and it resonated even though it was quite messy. I know it might only resonate with a few of you, but let me know if it does. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right.